All right, Sore have just released two new APS-C cinema lenses into their Night Walker lineup of lenses, a 16mm and a 75mm prime lens, both at a super wide T1.2 aperture. I've been a fan of the Night Walker line of lenses for a while, and I have another review checking out the rest of the lenses, a full detailed review, so if you wanna check that out, the link is in the description. But I figured I would put together a quick video just talking about these two new lenses as I've been lucky enough to give them a bit of a test drive for the past few weeks. So if you don't know anything about the Nightwalker series of lenses from Sore, these are lightweight, compact, fully manual focus cinema lenses designed for APS-C or Super 35 sensors. So this means that there's no autofocus and that they are designed for cameras such as the Canon R7 or the Canon C70. They have an all metal construction and are all a similar size, making swapping between these lenses on a gimbal or in a rigged up setup much easier. And they all also share a 67 millimeter front filter thread. These lenses have a really nice smooth focus ring and 270 degree focus for us gives you precise focusing which you're definitely going to need with that super fast T1.2 aperture. The 16mm lens gives you roughly a 24mm full frame equivalent field of view and the 75mm gives you roughly a 110 full frame field of view. I have them on the RF mount here but they're also available in L mount, X mount, E mount and micro four thirds. But anyway, on to image quality, which is of course what is the most important thing to all of us in a lens like this. And I have to say, I've been really impressed with both lenses, but in particular with this 16 millimeter that I have absolutely loved using over the past few weeks. The 16 might be my favorite of the entire Nightwalker range. I've been using it a lot on my Canon C70 and my R62 in APS-C crop mode. And this lens gives a really beautiful organic image, especially at T1.2. And these lenses definitely have a look. They give you an almost vintage, dreamy and organic rendering. And the maximum aperture means that it gets you really close to that shallow depth of field full frame look on a crop sensor camera. And the 16 millimeter also seems like it might be one of the sharpest in the Nightwalker range. Right now on the RF mount, we have pretty much no options in terms of a wide angle fast prime lens. So for me, this 16 millimeter has been a bit of a godsend on my Canon C70 and has practically been glued to it. So I'm really glad that Sore continue to expand this line and also bring them out on the RF mount because these lenses are sorely needed for video shooters. If you have an R7, a C70 or a red Komodo, for example. The 16 millimeter has been great for me for travel videos. I had it in Paris and I really love the rendering from this lens. Really great for establishing shots or capturing your subject within a wide scene. And the T1.2 Max aperture gives you plenty of background separation and thanks to this, it gives you an almost full frame look. It is quite hard to focus manually at T1.2, obviously, since the depth of field is so narrow, especially on the 75 millimeter. But the really smooth 270 degree focus throw makes that a lot more doable and allows you to have really precise control over the focus. It's not as sharp and clinical as a lot of Canon RF lenses, and it does give a really beautiful look, in my opinion, especially on the sharper cameras like the R7 or my R62 and it can really take the edge off these digital sensors. The 75 millimeter lens was also a lot of fun to use. It's not really a focal length I use a lot for video, but it is of course great for capturing people faithfully, whether that's talking heads or maybe even detail shots, for example. But I actually really loved using it for capturing cityscapes like here. You can see the kind of details rendered with this lens is still really sharp and captures finer details really well. Again, the look is pretty consistent with the 16 millimeter where wide open, it doesn't seem like the sharpest lens, but a benefit to this is that it has super smooth bokeh and tons of background separation. I do like the fact that you have the option with these lenses of shooting them wide open for that soft organic dreamy look or stepping them down a little bit to T2 or T2.8 
for a way more cleaner and contrasty look. These lenses also handle flaring really well too, which is often a little bit of a weak spot for budget cinema lenses, but these Nightwalkers do a really good job. They don't end up too washed out and retain contrast pretty well. These lenses are also really excellent in low light, thanks to the T1.2 maximum aperture. You can really keep your ISO low thanks to the sheer amount of light that these lenses let in. So if you shoot in a lot of low light situations, these lenses are gonna really excel in that area. So let's take a quick look at sharpness with these lenses. And a quick test shows what I expected and what is pretty consistent with the whole Nightwalker line, which is that they are reasonably soft, wide open, especially if you are used to RF lenses. They do lack a little bit of contrast at 1.2. This improves quickly by f2 where we see more micro contrast and vignette is improved also and by 2.8 to f4 we see very very good results now right out into the extremities of the frame. Colour rendition is also very consistent between these two lenses so that's really good to see too. So overall I've been really happy with both of these lenses and I think I mentioned in my previous review of the Nightwalker lenses that I'm just glad that Sore are releasing these kinds of lenses onto the RF mount. Because Canon have really shown very little desire to release any kind of prime lenses for their APS-C cameras or Super 35 cameras. So this 16 millimeter lens from Sore is the kind of lens I wanted for a long time now from Canon for my C70. So if you shoot narrative stuff, if you own a C70, a Red Komodo or a Canon R7, this whole lens range to be honest is great and I would highly recommend the 16 millimeter Nightwalker lens in particular for a really versatile lens with a great look. The final thing that I should mention is that these lenses are priced really well too. So if you're on a budget, these are amazing options to get a couple of different lenses. And I think especially right now, Sore are running an Indiegogo campaign that will give you an early bird price of $339 for one of these lenses. There's a link in the description to that campaign if you wanna check it out and pick one of these lenses up. But anyway, that was my quick review of these two new lenses. Thanks as always to Sore for sending these out for me to try. If you've got any questions regarding these new lenses, leave them down below and I'll do my best to help. Or if you just have any thoughts in general about these lenses, leave them down below too. Thanks as always for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.